So I'm here in LA right now having a great time. You guys all know my good buddy Todd. So I'm here with Todd and I have got one of these amazing kits on. This is the brand new kit this year. It's got the amazing arm fit, awesome leg stuff to it, and this kit absolutely is amazing. So if you're looking for a kit right now, you need to go order your Cycling Strong kit. It'll be just like this, only with the Cycling Strong branding. You can do that on my blog, on my Facebook page, but get it done, short period of time. Now, let's talk about the ride tonight. So we went on an amazing ride tonight. It was absolutely a blast. We even went on a base, which was crazy. I had to take my ID, had to do all this stuff. Super fun, super fast, and we had the diesel with us, Todd. He got us in the pace line, really worked us through the pace line. And one thing I wanna teach everybody out there, if you're riding with somebody that's a master like Todd is, he's really good at lining people out and getting them to work together. And really, you know what, it takes kind of a, I don't mean to be like boss in a bad term or a leader, however you wanna see it, but if you don't have somebody that gets guys organized and they listen to and they see success with, you can never win a race and you'll never get a group to really outpull somebody else. Because what happens is, is things get unorganized. Even in the professional peloton, that is a problem. You'll see people talking about it all the time. If they don't work together, they can't get anywhere. So Todd is really good at that. He was really good at getting us lined out and we crushed it tonight. We had a great time. But I'm gonna let Todd kind of walk you through how the ride goes, where it starts from, where it ends, some of the cool things to it, and kind of the dynamics and where we did our breakaway and how he staged that. So, Todd, okay. we'll let you get in camera here a little bit. And uh, sorry it's so dark, but here's Todd Brown with Pedal Industries. So he's my kit ninja. Go ahead, Todd, tell us a little bit about the, the ride. Okay, so tonight we did the market ride. It starts in San Clemente at San Clemente Cyclery. It's only on uh, during the longer days of the year. Uh, tonight it starts at 5:30 and it switches to a little bit later start as the days get shorter in the fall. Uh, it's been going on for I don't know a thousand years, something like that. You, we ride through Camp Pendleton. You have to register in advance and bring your ID and show it to the guys. Which I don't remember if tonight if they had the full-on rifles, but last did they have them with the machine guns? So it's a little gnarly because it's 20-year-old kids saying, hey, can I have your ID, sir? And you're like, yes, sir. Uh, but anyway, so we, we go through the base and it's nice. There's hardly any cars out there. You go blasting through some areas that have, you can see tanks have crossed earlier in the day, big tank tracks and dirt and, and stuff like that. And it goes down and you probably didn't notice, Bart, because we turned a little bit early today, but there's a little market. It was just called the market ride. We turn around there, come back, it's, it's rolling, it's fast, I don't know, probably the average speed of the ride, the actual ride itself is probably around 24, 25 miles an hour. Um, it's a great ride, super fun. Everybody's very uh, cautious, right? I would say it's a safe ride. You know, it's not totally aggro group ride, but uh, super fun. And uh, if you're ever in San Clemente, look me up. You can find me at pedalindustries.com and it would be fun to take you out on the ride. So some cool things, Todd, are, no, I don't know if they're cool, but things to be aware of on the ride are there's some little, like, gate things. There's the yes. tank tunnel. There are some gates that are quite narrow, about this narrow, and we go through them. Everybody on the ride's been through them 100 times, so I'm uh, probably going about 20 miles an hour when we bust through those. You do not want to go through side by side. You won't fit. Um, there's also the tank tunnel that goes underneath the interstate freeway. And it's dusty and dark in there, and uh, it's just a little extra flavor. We also go on an emergency runway that they don't use uh, currently, but you can see they've landed jets out there over the years. They probably take off from the aircraft carriers. We didn't see it today, but a lot of times out there they have the hovercrafts. Um, there'd be military exercises while we're blasting through there. Um, it's just an exciting place to ride through, and it's cool that they let us go through there. The other cool part to you guys is Todd, uh, he cued us up. We knew right where the breakaway was going to go. And when we committed, he got us to commit 100% and we stuck it through and we ripped it. So good job, Todd. It was fun. We could see those guys coming. It's like, oh, we got to keep it together because they're so close. You're thinking, oh, they're going to catch us. But you know what? We're toast anyway. So if they catch us, we have no legs for the sprint. So you might as well commit and just sell it out and it worked tonight, which, which was super fun. It was, it was great to do that. It was awesome. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna uh, turn the camera. Well, it's not gonna turn around, so you're just gonna listen to me and Todd's gonna stand there and look beautiful, but have a great one. Get out there, ride your bike. That's the main thing. Go get your kit if you want one and keep cycling strong.